This review looks at two New Holland machines. C238 is a compact track loader weighing 4.6 tonnes and the motor art model number is 13783. The L218 is a much smaller skid steer weighing 2.7 tonnes and its model number is 13784. The models come in identical packaging which is more motor art branded than New Holland branded. And there's no information about the real machines. So let's crack on and open up one of the boxes and we'll go for the skid steer. So as usual, the first task when getting a model out is to open the box. It's not difficult, but some people seem to find a problem with it. They push and pull, they twist and turn, but still, they can't seem to get the box open. For people like this, we must have sympathy. After all, it's not their fault that their box challenged. Maybe with the advances in modern medicine, their condition can be improved. But maybe for some people, their condition is just too far gone. Once the insides are taken out of the box, then the model can be seen contained within a pair of plastic formers. These protect the model well, and you just separate them to lift the model out. These particular models come with no instructions, and that's because they're fully assembled out of the box. Starting with a crawler loader, the detail underneath is simple, but the rubber crawler tracks have a good tread pattern. The track frames are reasonable, and the drive sprocket is quite detailed. The body is all metal, and the grille at the rear is nicely formed, and the plastic lights look good too. The cab also looks good with a fine mesh grille on the sides. The interior has a seat and two joysticks, and the two grab handles are a nice detail. The twin booms are nicely detailed, with discrete rivets and sharp graphics. And the bucket is a reasonably simple metal casting. The L218 skid steer loader is physically a smaller model, and the level of detailing is very similar to its larger brother. The wheels and tyres look good, and the plus point is that Motor Art have used smaller castings rather than just relabeling the castings of the larger machine. So it's out onto the test track and the skid steer gets a run out first. It rolls well enough in a straight line and the point to note is that the wheels are fixed to their axles. And the result of that is that you can't really do skid steering as per the real machine. And that's because the wheels on either side can't turn at different speeds. The crawler track loader has got rubber tracks and they do work. You need to apply a little bit of downward pressure on the model to get them to bite nicely. But one good thing is that the drive sprockets do turn well, and they're not fixed on common axles, so either side can turn separately. But if you do try to turn the model, it would be quite easy to throw a track. As far as raising the bucket is concerned, the boom mechanism is engineered quite well, but it's a little bit stiff and jerky. The lift height is not quite as good as the real machine can achieve, but the tipping angle is very good. So overall, the bucket mechanism is reasonable. And just to prove we didn't get lucky with the crawler loader, here's the skid steer loader. Again, the boom height is perhaps a little shallow, but everything else works quite well. For the first of the genuine imitation real-life tests, let's try them out as transport loads. And just look at the giant American rig the Cranes Etc team have sent. You know, these days you just can't get the staff. Anyway, the loaders go on easily enough and they travel off in style. For the next test, we'll try them loading a low-sided tipper. And the crawler loader is big enough to reach over and tip its load of fresh air. The skid steer drives up full of anticipation, but it just can't quite get over the side of the tipper. For the next genuine imitation real life test, it's the loader gymnastics. And on the first run, it's a complete fail. Now for the second attempt, and oh dear, it's fail again. Now for the third attempt, can they do better, and it's fail. Fourth attempt, fail. It's the fifth and final attempt, and super you! The final test sees the C238 loader acting as a pusher to the 1RB scraper. These two small New Holland models from Motor Art are of a quite a nice quality. They've got some good detailing and the functionality is reasonable. It would have been nice if they'd had some interchangeable tools, but overall they're good enough to be recommended. Yeah.